hey y'all no mukbang right now i'm gonna do that later that's on the agenda but i wanted to get this off my chest before i forget and it's still so fresh I feel like I'm gonna cry right now out of frustration and like anger and I'm okay though because I feel like I've been through worse and I've already been through this it was just kind of like a sour situation and I'm doing the best that I can every single day every single day to navigate situations different situations specifically with people i feel like the world has just turned upside down obviously <laughs> so lately you know i just i just I've been talking about this and I really, I think this is just gonna be my topic of the day or just, I rant about it all the time because I really truly feel like the world has gone to shit and people are a lot angrier and a lot more frustrated. And I come across these situations time and time and time again whether it be from friends or family, but more specifically as of lately strangers or customers that I deal with. Where they take their frustrations out on me. I feel like a walking doormat. And this has been a challenge of mine since I was a little kid. And as I got older, I just saw how much more cruel the world was. And it makes me want to become an asshole. It makes me want to lose who I am. It makes me just want to become jaded. And I have. But for the most part, like, I go back to being true to myself. Even if people call me you know, naive, vulnerable, stupid, like whatever. Like I'm too trusting. I love people. Like I hate them, but I love them because I know that everybody just like going through it. But there is just something about me, like something like that triggers like the evil in people, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I have an example, unfortunately, a recent one that happened like not even 20 minutes ago. And a part of me thinks that I just manifested it because I was like looking for things. I'm not sure, but I think I just already, because my mind expects the worst, like I don't want the worst to happen, but I already expect the worst. And as much as I love that our state has dispensaries I just, I feel like every time I go into a dispensary, it's just questionable people. It's questionable situations. Not only the customers that you're around, but the people who are giving you the weed. And I feel like in the beginning, when this first started, the people behind the counter, the employees were so nice. And I'm sure, you know, they're underpaid as well. And they hate who they work with or whatever, right? Because everywhere you go is high school and these people are they look significantly younger like they're in their early 20s maybe they're still in college i'm not sure but for the most part i've had good situations happen like i've never really had a difficult time but their laws are strict obviously and i know just based off past experience you have to do things a certain way where it has to be you it has to be your id like it has to be your name like your number your email right <sighs> So this morning, I told Jonathan, put this information, well, I didn't actually tell him. I should have clarified, but when I asked him, I was like, who, you know, to pick up this stuff, I'm like, what information did you put under? And he's like, oh, you know, 
it was my number and my email, but it's your name. I'm like, oh shit, like there's always, there's already gonna be issues. Well, there would have been issues regardless because apparently when I got there, I was waiting in line and there was some questionable person in front of me who didn't look like they were in the right state of mind and they just kept like, the way that they're like walking around was sus and then the guy behind me is like, are you in line? I'm like, yeah, this chick in front of me is just over there looking at something. Oh, okay. And I'm just like, weird, weird situation. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And, you know, there's like hardly any staff. There's like three people up there. But I'm just like, all right, cool. And I barely see this girl all the way at the end, right? But she straight up, like, I don't know if she just had a bad interaction with a customer or what. But if she did, like, she just needs to go because she's awful, right? Like, she was just, like, she. I could see her rolling her eyes and being, like, next in line, you know? And I'm, like, <sighs> so there was a bunch of people around the person next to her, her employee next to her, and it just was, like, a big crowd. So I, I roll, you know, I pulled up on her. I'm, like, trying to crack a joke, like, hey, I could barely see you because she was so tiny, too. Wasn't having it. So didn't really feel welcome wasn't nice like hey hi how are you just like what's your order give her my id she can't find it like immediately she's kind of like copying a tude i'm like okay well you know here's the information and then long and short of it was was that it obviously wasn't under my information but even under jonathan's information with the confirmation number with his phone number with his email like it just there was a fluke in the system and nothing went through so she's trying to explain this to me but she's doing it very poorly like she's getting upset she's like raising her voice at me like she's like raising her voice and i'm like look and this was me trying to set a boundary i'm like i don't know what happened before i got up here but you know i know this isn't personal but please don't take out your frustrations on me and then she's like i'm not frustrated i'm not frustrated she's like laughing it off and I'm like, okay, yeah, cool, mm -hmm, sure. And, like, she's doing the same thing where, like, I'm like, okay, can we move on, you know? Like, I'm talking to her like this where I'm just like, look, like, I'm being chill. I'm just like, I just don't need you talking to me that way. Like, it's just a respect thing. It's about respect. And, like, obviously she has no respect for anybody. So then at one point she's, like, flailing around. I'm like, bro, like, like you can feel the energy, right? And then she, like, starts shaking and I know the feeling like when you get so angry that like you start shaking, right? And I'm like, look, I don't need you getting frustrated at me. Like, I don't need you shaking out of anger. And she's just like, she pulls a, I have a medical condition. That's why I'm shaking. And then she just looks at me like, ha, ha, ha. she's like, you're not him. Like talking about Jonathan. And I'm like, okay, I understand that. And like, I felt like a dick, obviously, but I don't, I don't discredit that she has a medical condition but don't use that and tell me that's why you're shaking right now. You know what I mean? Like, I felt so gaslit where it's like, you know, it, it very well could be. And that was dick-like of me. But I'm pretty intuitive where I could feel that, like, she used her medical condition in that moment to get out of the situation. And make me look like a dick and, like, say it in front of everybody. When I'm just like, okay. Next time, Lolo, obviously don't point that out or do it in another way where I'm like, you know, you. I was just like, you don't need to be shaking right now. Like, there's no need to get this frustrated. So then she's like, looks at me and she's like, <laughs> she's like, you know what? Like, she just couldn't stand looking at my face. And she's just like, let me go get a manager. I can hear her in the back, bro. And then at one point, I'm not even looking around because I'm like super embarrassed thinking like people are thinking I'm being a difficult customer. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to figure out what to do right now. Like, you can't find anything, right? She's in the back just, like, talking all this shit. I mean, she didn't say anything about me, but she was reiterating the situation. She's like, yeah. And then she pointed out that I was shaking, and I'm like, ah, I have a medical condition, bro. <laughs> like, that's what I'm trying to explain to her. So then the manager comes out, and I'm explaining the situation. I was like, look, like, I don't know what happened with her, but, like, she was clearly frustrated before I came up here, you know? And then she's like, she was like the overly loud manager and being like, okay, yeah, blah, blah, and then, and then she just, we figured out there, that there was a fluke in the system. Regardless, I just have to do my own order. So I do the order. It's ready right away, like, whatever. And, like, the girl's lingering in the back. I'm, like, not even looking at her. I'm just like, whatever. But, yeah, at one point, I'm not looking at anybody. But then all of a sudden, like, all the three employees were, like, walking past me, like, not even looking at me and, like, kind of had this smirk on their face, like, just to go in the back to, like, hear the drama, like... 
I just don't understand how somebody who clearly had the issue, who got called out on the issue, tried to put it back on me and, like, get loud and, like, really make it seem like I was the one causing issues. Where I was just like, look, I don't need your attitude. And, like, I was trying to tell the chick, like, and the manager didn't, I don't know if the manager didn't take me seriously, but sometimes they just don't. Like, they're just like, okay, whatever, like, we're going to have the employees back. But I looked at her, I was like, do you understand what I was trying to tell you earlier? And she's like, yeah, I'm totally aware of it. So she says that, which I was like, okay, she's aware of, like, the employee's fucking attitude. Like, you need to get rid of that person. And then she's like, it happens to the best of us. And I was like, yeah, and the worst of us. Like, what do you mean it happens to the best of us? Like, you're defending her actions or, like, you're saying that, like, I don't know. I was calm. I was just, like, trying to, like set a boundary with the stranger to be like please don't talk to me that way and then they, she tried to pass it off like she was totally fine when she was clearly just like ha, 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 and like so frustrated like her shaking literally just came out of nowhere like right when she was the most frustrated i was like look there's no need to shake out of anger like i don't understand why you're shaking right now and then she was just like i have a medical condition like bro i'm literally dealing with crazies who then, like, point the finger and is like, this bitch is crazy all over, like, marijuana. Like, I don't know who the fuck these people are hiring, but, like, it makes me feel some type of way when, like, I've applied for dispensaries and I didn't get the job because I am overqualified and I don't want to work with people like that. Like, I'm not saying I'm better than that, but, like, damn. Maybe that is what I'm saying because I just seeing customer service go out the window and i even told her at one point i was like i'm not trying to take this personal because i know whatever happened just before i got up here please don't take it out on me and then she's just like trying to act like everything was fine when it clearly wasn't like there's a way to talk to people and like to go in the back and just like rant about me as if i was being the difficult one when i was just trying to point out like you don't need to get this frustrated over something like how she patronized me like oh you're not him I'm like, yeah, I get that. Like, there's just some confusion. Like, I, I told him not to do this. Like, not blaming Jonathan. It was a fluke in the system regardless. And the manager explained it really nicely. And I was just like, okay, like, that's why she's a manager. Like, why didn't this, like, it's not like I didn't understand. I was just like, I didn't understand because I was just like, why can't you find it? Like, I'm giving you, even if you have to transfer it to my name, like, you should be able to find it. And then the lady was just like, sometimes there's just a fluke in the system if you do it too early. So, there's my story there. If y'all have any fucking crazy stories of terrible customer service, please let me know. Because I'm really sick and tired of, like, being pointed the finger that I'm the issue when people are just snapping at me left and right as if I'm going to take it. Lord, help me navigate the bullshit. All right, I'm about to do some retail therapy. I'm going to see y'all later because I'm going to do a mukbang. I actually am recovering from the flu. I recorded two to three videos. One's an ASMR from like three months ago that I really have to work on editing. But things are going to be posted out of order. And I'm going to post this one right now because fuck this shit. Like, please, y'all, like, make me feel better. Like, tell me something that'll brighten up my day because my heart is just like, I can't take the pain of other people anymore. Whew. Peace out, y'all.